Hi, and thanks so much for joining me today. We're talking about this product. It is by Hourglass, and I'm just going to read what it is so I get it right. It is a seamless finish foundation stick. I've heard so many great things about this. I honestly haven't heard anyone who doesn't like it, so I thought it was a good idea to try and invest in it and see how it works for me. It is not inexpensive, so it's definitely an investment, but if you want your foundation to perform, sometimes you've got to invest. And for me, my priorities are skin and amazing foundation. So. I expect a lot from this and I was reading about the product online to see what its claims were and they're pretty extraordinary claims so let's just read together and I didn't ever read about this until today. So it's a foundation and concealer in one. This concentrated formula contains double the amount of pigment versus traditional foundations for instant coverage in one application. So it's supposed to be a one one step application, we'll see. It's long wearing waterproof formula provides 12 hour coverage so it's a long wear coverage as well. Innovative formula adjusts to your body temperature to effortlessly blend into the skin and it's designed specifically to be used with a vanished seamless foundation brush. I don't have that, but we're gonna try out with a brush and beauty blender, which I do have. I didn't hear great things about the brush itself, so that's one reason I didn't buy it. And then it is available in 26 shades to perfectly match every skin tone, and the range is pretty good. It's pretty wide, and then they address cool and warm tones as well. I initially purchased Honey, but I had a feeling it was too dark for me, so a little tip for you is that if you are not sure of a color, and you want to swatch them, what I do is I swatch the colors that I already have. So I love the Central Skin Enhancer by Kevin Kwan and SX11 and 12. So I'm kind of in between those at some point of the year. So I swatched both of those in my hand. And Honey, when I went to Sephora, because I actually ordered this one online and in Honey, and I noticed it looked really dark. I didn't touch it. I just opened it and looked at it. But I went to my local Sephora with the Kevin Kwan product swatch on my hand. And when I swatched Honey at the store, it was much closer to SX12, which is too dark for me right now. So I went down and I got Golden Tan, which is a lot closer to SX11. So if you are my skin tone and you're wondering what color to get, right now Golden Tan is, is what works best. So in a moment, you're gonna see all of the things that it claims it does, which is interesting. They did a study for a week on 31 women. So the actual sample, the end count on that is not very large. What I'm interested in is that 90% reported that the product effectively covered hyperpigmentation and dark spots, which is one of my main concerns. I have sun damage. You'll see it in a little bit when I start with no makeup. So you'll be able to see how well or not well they're covered up. And then also uh, under eye circles, because those are the areas that I use concealer. So when I use foundation, even the Kevin Aquan, I will follow up with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer on uh, under my eyes, on the dark spots. So if you'd like to see how application went, how the color match was, kind of my first impressions on initial application, and then 30 minutes down the road, how it looked and how I felt about it, and some final thoughts, please keep watching. Okay, so here we are up a little bit closer. As you can see, I definitely have some discoloration to take care of. The texture of my skin is pretty good, but you can see I've got some darkness here, here on my forehead, and then I had a little weird breakout on my chin line here. So we're gonna go ahead and see how well this covers up with just one layer. So I'm really excited to try this. Again, we've got golden tan. I'm just gonna apply this straight to my skin, and then I'm going to go in with a brush, the Shiseido, not quite sure what you're called, but it's a foundation brush. And then I'm gonna go ahead with a beauty blender after. Ooh, but before I do that, the half of my face will have the Veil Mineral Primer by Hourglass because it's supposed to work really well with this, but I also am loving the Guerlain, Guerlain uh, primer as well. So I'm gonna do half with this primer and then half with the Hourglass and see if there really is a difference in terms of the performance. And as you can see, I already have eye makeup on, but I just finished up with a series of moisturizers and then a um, the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist just to seal everything in. So we're gonna go ahead with the Guerlain on this side. And again, the reason I'm using this product on this side is because I love it right now and I'm not using the Hourglass Primer as much anymore, but of course, on the website, they said it works best with their primer, so I thought I would give it a go. So I'm gonna go ahead with the foundation stick. I'm just gonna apply it straight, follow up with a brush, and then with a beauty blender. So 
So I like to concentrate the foundation closer to the middle of my face and then work it outwards. Okay, so this is the hourglass side, applied really nicely. I've got some brush strokes in there, but I also have a dampen beauty blender that I'm gonna go in with just to kind of even out that texture. There's an interesting ergonomic feel about this shape, the triangle, and I don't know if they did that on purpose, but it feels easier to control Really see a marked difference in how the application was. It'll be interesting to see over time how they perform based on the primers that are underneath, how they how this performs with the primers underneath. So our glass Guerlain. So I'm just adding a little bit more to those areas that need more coverage. So thank you to those of you who are making suggestions to me about things you'd like me to see. So for instance, Glamour Mom on Instagram, hello. Uh, she suggested the NARS Velvet Lip Glide for me to try and I wasn't actually looking at that product until she pointed it out. So thank you for that. I'm really loving them. As you can see, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm wearing those products a lot. Uh, and Callie in the Valley, I have been looking for a few products that you wanted me to explore like the Chanel Rouge and then also the Dior. Quince, and I haven't found anything yet that I love except for the Dior palette, which is something that's out of stock. So I'm gonna to continue to look for things, uh, something that falls into those categories. So I'm still looking. So if you have anything else you want to see, please let me know, I'm happy to do that. It also opens some doors for me into things that I wouldn't normally be trying or things that aren't on my radar, so I really do appreciate it. Okay. So on initial evaluation of just the brush, I don't know if I love the texture here. I am a huge fan of the Sensual Skin Enhancer by Kevin O'Quan, as you know. It's looking a little bit, it's not looking as smooth as I thought it would. Let's go in with the Beauty Blender and see if that helps. It looks like the Beauty Blender is helping a little bit. And this is really minor, but I've heard such amazing things about this foundation. I think I just expected it to be, I don't know, something I hadn't seen before. So I have to say for coverage, it does do a comparable job to the Kim Kwan sensual skin enhancer, but I'm still going to need concealer for these darker areas. I think I can try and build it up a little bit, but I don't, I don't know. I don't think it's going to work. Okay. I, so far, so far it's okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's not vanishing in the way I thought it would. It is sitting on my skin a little bit. If you haven't been here before, my skin is very dry and so I do moisturize quite a bit before I apply any makeup. So I don't have any dry patches, but it seems to be sitting on my skin more than melding with my skin. 
and I don't really notice a difference with the primers underneath right now. So here we are, just foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and add some concealer, some blush powder, a lipstick, just to finish up all the odds and ends here and see how this is performing. After a little bit of time, after it warms up to my skin, it did, did say something about warming up to your skin and, I don't know, melding with your skin a little bit better, so I'll be right back. And here I am back with the final look, so I went ahead and added some concealer, some blush, I did a little bit of contouring and some bronzer and then finished up with a powder and a little bit of highlight and some lipstick. So at this point it has melded with my skin, it has vanished into it, so thank goodness because I was going to be really disappointed if Hourglass came up with something that didn't work for me because I love their brand anyway and so I really expect them to perform. So this is performing at this point. It'll be interesting over time how much I use it because I don't use a foundation on an everyday basis. I do love the Kemino Kwan Sensual Skin Enhancer for photography and for video. It is flawless. It is flawless in real life as well, but it does tend to be a little bit thicker. So I'm looking for something that's a little bit more lightweight, and I know that some people break out from the Sensual Skin Enhancer, so I like that it's in a stick form. I like that it would be easy to travel with, that I don't have to touch it with my fingers in order to apply it. I really like that. I think I would use this on a daily basis even without concealer because it doesn't have to be as flawless when you're just going to the grocery store or whatever. But I am happy with it at this point. So I'll check in with you in a few more ways to let you know if it's made it into my regular rotation of things that I love and use every day. So if I was able to help you decide that you should either invest in this product or maybe save your pennies, I hope I was able to do that. So if you learned something, if you just enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'm here every Thursday and I will see you next time. Thank you.